everyone. Uh, today we are going to be doing a tutorial walkthrough of the very difficult jazz fusion classic Race with the Devil on a Spanish Highway by Al Di Miola. The, uh, the first and only tutorial on YouTube of this one, I think. Yay me. Uh, so if you've got your fingers limbered up and ready to fly, Let's get at this beast, uh, and not just your left hand fingers, your right hand is going to be flying at a clip as well, because Al Di Miola is an alternate picking master, and rarely, if ever, uses like economy picking or sweeping. He alternate picks everything, and rarely uh, does it really cop out with legato to speed things up. He picks practically every note. Now, obviously, we're looking at some pretty advanced guitar playing here uh, at speeds that uh, only some of us can reach, uh, So, and thankfully I'm one of them. So be forewarned, it's extremely quick, uh, but you should know that already if you know this piece, or you wouldn't be here, I suppose. Now, we're in standard tuning for this one and working mostly in the F-sharp Phrygian mode. Uh, this track bounces back and forth between F-sharp and B, and you can also play these solos from a, a scalar standpoint of B natural minor, which has the same notes as F-sharp Phrygian. But you really want to be thinking in F-sharp Phrygian, because you'll be highlighting a lot of those F-sharps as you play to get that uh, exotic Latin feel that this song and that these solos within the song contain. So know that going forward. Uh, regardless, onwards. Uh, let's close in here a little bit, get plugged in, and uh, find some kind of tone going here, and have a look at this one. Uh, we could be here for a while. Uh, this is long, and uh, while certain parts of it are not that difficult, uh, there are other parts of it that can get pretty involved and complex. So uh, let's, uh, let's close in here and have a look at this one. It's probably going to take an hour, so. So... Let's have a look at this beast. It, uh, it doesn't start off too difficult. Uh, it starts off, uh, as you know, it starts off with bass, actually, for a couple of bars of this. Open to two on the, on the low E string. And then sliding from two to three, back to two, and then back open onto two. So pretty simple. And uh, when the guitar comes in after like eight bars of that, you're, you're sliding out of 17 on the low E into that. For, uh, for two repeats. So uh, nothing too difficult there, and uh, and then it gets difficult. So this is the first fast little uh, fast little run, and uh, goes something like this, and then back into that. And uh, now Al plays that lick right here at the on the uh, on the nine tens and twelves of the low E and the A string. I find my fingers get really cramped up in there, so I like to do it here, where my f I have a little more separation in my fingers, on the four, fives, and sevens of the A and the D. But uh, like I said, Al plays it right here on the uh, nine, tens, and twelves. And uh, so I'm going to slow that down. And uh, I'm going to do it right here, uh, not where I play it, but where Al plays it, on the 9, 10s, and 12s. And remember, everything is alternate pick. There's no legato here. You're picking every single note, and it's very quick. It's good to think of this as uh, a repeating lick that repeats twice, that has three notes that start it. So here is the, the lick. Starting on uh, 10, sorry, 9 of the A. Repeat. And it has these three notes that start the whole thing. 9, 10, 12 of the low E. And then the repeating lick starts for two repeats. So. And then back 
back into that again. So, uh, but like I said, right there is where I like to play it. Uh, so that's the lick. Those three notes to start it. And then back into that for a couple of bars. And then we're into this little, little slide out from 14 of the high E. And then there's delay on that, which carries that note and delays that note a number of times. And then back into this. And then the same thing, but 14 of the B. And then we're back into the fast lick again. And now we're going to ascend down the scale. But faster than that. Uh, so we repeat uh, that, uh, that pattern and then we start ascending. So this is the, uh, the the opening to it. And now we start ascending. And again, everything is picked, alternate picked. So uh, the ascending run starts on uh, on nine of the A and goes back up to E and then starts ascending. Finishes up with a little chromatic 12, 12, 11, 10 on the A, and then tw 12, 11 on the D, and that's where it finishes. So I'm gonna run through that little ascending scale run a couple of times. speed uh, this is very quick and uh, and the most difficult part is alternate picking everything and uh, at the transition when you're ascending and you start descending again uh, that's tricky without doing like sweeps or economy picking um, uh, you know, I suppose you can when you get to the bottom. If you if you start your picking uh, progression uh, in the right way with an upstroke, maybe or a downstroke, you could do two upstrokes right there on the uh, on the nines of the B and the G to make it a little easier. God, it's hard to play. Um, anyway, that is that lick. And, uh, and then we're back into this. And, uh, and then, then this little lick. And that's just nine, seven, nine, eight, seven, five of the low E. Uh, he's harmonizing uh, that line with the octave. Uh, probably overdubbed in the studio, you can play that on one guitar with octaves. You know, by muting the middle string. You can play it on one guitar if you want. <clears throat> and then, um, and then we're back into this again. And then the ascending run again. The exact same thing we did last time. And then it, uh, it leads into uh, a little uh, change in the song into this. And that's just nine, seven, four on the D. And then nine, oops, nine, seven from the E to the A with, for a double hit. Slide out. And then for a few bars, the band takes over. Kill your volume. And then you're going to join that line quietly. Mm -hmm. 
finishing up on two. That's just seven, five, two. Uh, and, uh, and then you're going to switch up to your neck pickup, raise your volume again, but not all the way. And then we're into the first little slow solo. And that's 11 on the G, down to 9, then 10 of the uh, B. And then grab 9, slide back to 6 of the G, and then slide up to 11. Give that a little vibrato. And then do it again. And this time when you slide up to 11, you're going to slide back to 9. And then you're going to repeat the first line again. And then again. And you, when you slide to 11 this time, you're going to go back to 9 and slide back to, back to 11. Kind of like this. So nothing too difficult in those lines there. A little warble on my G string. And then we're into this. Just a little hammer on from 9 to 11 of the G, down to 10 of the B, back to 11. Uh, and then we're going to hammer on uh, 9 to 10 of the uh, high E. And then just ride back uh, the notes of the scale. Back down to 7. Back up to 10 of the B. A little hammer on from 7 to 9, then a couple of hits. And then this little lick. And nothing too difficult there. A little hammer on from 9 to 10. A little bit awkward that line because you're going down to 6 and jumping back up to 10, but uh, not too bad. Back to 6 there, up to 10, finishing up on 9 of the G. And then you're going to go back to 7, and then slide back to 6. And for a little sliding back and forth. Back to 7. And then back to 6, back to 7, back to 6. So uh, that's that line. And uh, then the band for uh, a few bars goes... And then with your volume lowered a little bit, you join that line. We're on the D string, 9 to 7, up to 9 of the A, and then 9 to 7 of the, uh, the E and the A, 7, 5, 2. Nothing too complicated there. Uh, and now, the, for the last two bars, or the last through two uh, pass-throughs of this little phrase, uh, we're gonna start. We're gonna do a quick little uh, lick that he does here. So he goes nine seven nine. That's the lick he's playing, but he's doing it very quickly. So he's doing a little hammer on pull off from four to five of the A, grabbing seven of the D, doing it again, double hit at six. And then double hit at four, at five, back to four. So this is the lick. It's all in the four, fives, and seven. So at speed, this is what it sounds like. And I have a really hard time hitting that double hit at six. That's it at speed, or almost at speed. 
You do that twice. And, uh, and then we're into this. And then you're going to crank back down onto your bridge pickup, raise your volume as fast as you can, do all that. Nothing too complicated there. That's just open E and the, the second fret. Just with that kind of uh, picking pattern. A little palm muting going on. And, uh, and then you're going to kill, you're going to play that for a few bars, then you're going to lower your volume, uh, and you got to do it very quickly because, uh, you know, you're going from this, lower, and you're going into that, uh, and you're going into it very quickly, but you need to kill, you need to kill some of your volume and some of your saturation. So, uh, you know, get your pinky down there and give a little drop of your volume, and then we're into this, and it's palm muted. And that's that lick. And uh, again, it's on the, you know, seven, nine, tens, back to five. And then 10, nine, seven, back onto nine. And then just right down the scale of that nine, seven, five, or sorry, 10, nine, seven, five, two. And I think that repeats like eight times. And after the fourth time, he plays this really quick little lick, and it goes something like this. That's the lick right there. And uh, the, the last six notes are played really bloody fast. This is all on the 11, 12s, and 14s of the D and the G. But at speed... Kind of like that. And, uh, and that uh, leads us into the solo, the first solo, which is fairly short, but it, it's really bloody fast. And uh, the very last pass through of this, you're going to start double, uh, double timing the picking. So you're kind of coming out of this. And then you're going to start double timing the picking. Almost triple timing. No, it's like double timing the picking. And uh, nothing too complicated there either. And uh, for the solo, you're going to switch up to your uh, neck pickup again. And uh, the solo, very fast. And it starts with uh, four big pulls of the 15th fret of the high E releasing back to 14 and let that sustain as long as you can. And uh, I'm going to break this solo, even though it's a short solo, there's a lot of notes in it and it's very fast. I'm going to break it up into three parts. The opening of the solo, the descending scale run, and then the ascending scale run to finish up the solo. And now this is not exactly to the note from the studio version of Race with the Devil on a Spanish Highway. The opening 20 or so notes are. Uh, but then uh, I just know what he's doing. He's going so fast that it's really hard, even at slow speed, to pick apart exactly what he's doing. But I know what he's doing. I know, uh, you know, I know how it starts. I know all the opening notes, and I know that he does a descending scale run, and then he does these little legato runs, uh, a, a, a ascending legato runs, back up the scale. Uh, now, whether I get every single note in there, uh, I don't. But um, 
what I have works and it fits and it sounds good and it sounds right and very close. So I'm going to play it very slowly for you a number of times and break it into three sections. So this is the opening section of the solo. The four big pulls at, uh, at I said 15, it's 17. It's actually 17 of the high E. Releasing back to 14 for a double hit. And then he's going to do this three times. And that is that right there. Nothing really complicated. It's just 14 of the high E, 17, 15, 14, 15, 17, back to the high E. Now, during the solo, I know I said this is in F sharp Phrygian. Uh, I like, uh, you know, I'm very comfortable playing in the B natural minor scale, and I know this position of the B natural minor scale very well. And, uh, you know, I like to think in B minor during this solo, even though he's, he's hammering on those F sharps as part of the F sharp Phrygian uh, mode, you know, uh, a number of times within the solo. But uh, this little scale box. little scale box right there. Um, so we're coming into this three times quick and you're picking every note. There's no legato there. Really difficult. Uh, and then uh, and uh, that's where the uh, descending scale run starts. So we're going to work on just the opening. So three times that's the intro one more time And that, that's the opening of the solo. And now we're going to jump up here to 19. And this is the ascending scale run, descending scale run, sorry, uh, section, the middle section of the song. It's a little four note pattern. That's the first four. So you just go to the previous note and play another four notes in the scale. All the way up to the B. That's the descending scale run. So put together, and a little more at speed. Kind of like that. And, uh, and now we're into a little uh, legato. He doesn't do a whole lot of legato, but he does here. A um, little hammer-ons from uh, uh, 11 to 12 to 14 on the D and the uh, G twice. Or you can pick them. And you're gonna slide into 16 of the uh, G. Maybe he does pick them. He probably does pick them. And then slide into 16 after two repeats of this. And then you're gonna... And then back up to that note again. And then you're gonna do three uh, legato on those notes there of the 14, 15, 17 of the B and the E. Three times. 
finish up the whole solo by sliding into 21 and then sliding out of it. Uh, so the ending, the descending, after the ascending scale run, sorry, after the descending scale run, when, which we end in B, one more time. And how that all fits together slowly. solo and like I said it is not note for note but it's very close and it works beautifully <laughs> Alright, so we're through about the first half of uh, Race with the Devil on a Spanish Highway, coming out of that very fast solo with that note at the 21st fret. And then the, uh, the band takes over here for a little bit, slows things down a little bit. Get a little more volume. And that's the bass takes over, and then the guitar comes in kind of quietly. That's all of the A string there. 9 to 10, 7, 5, 7 to 9, and that kind of repeats. And so uh, the second time, instead of going up to 9, you go back to 5. And that repeats four times. You stop for a few bars, let the band take over, and then we're into this solo. We're going to switch back up to our neck position, crank up our volume a little bit. This little solo-y bit here. Uh, and this, uh, I play it all on the B string, on the uh, 14, 15, 17. And back it up to 12. Now you could go to 16 on the G string there. Uh, I get a little better flow when I go back to the 12. And you repeat that phrase twice. And then you do it again, but this time you slide up to uh, 19. And pick it when you get there. And then the next time you do it again. And then you back up to 12 for a full step bend, release. Or you could do it at 16, like I said, on the G string. And then you do it again, sliding back up to 19, and that kind of ends that whole phrase. So I'm just going to run through it. sustain and ring for a couple of bars <clears throat> and then we're back down to our bridge pickup volume is cranked again and then we're into this uh, start slow get faster it's basically three two open and nothing too complicated there it's just all on the open and the two but uh, that's fun I like to get my pinky in there as well. And, 
And then he does this little run between two, three, and five with a double hit on the three of the, of the low E. And, uh, and then we're into uh, this little phrase and we're back up to our neck position. So coming out of this. And that slow down is on the 11, 12, and 14s of the D and the G. Slide out. But very quick. And then we're gonna slide into 15 of the B, back to 14, back to eight, up to 12. Back to seven. And then you let that ring. And then you play this lick again. Back into 15, back to 14, back to eight, up to 12, and then up to 14. And then you let that sustain. And then we're back down to our bridge pickup. Back into this again for a couple of bars. And then we're into this very quick little, uh, uh, quick little lick right here. Sorry, I messed it up a little bit there, but it's a repeat of what we were doing at the beginning of the song, this here. Except we're playing it here on the 11, 12, 14s of the D and the G. And he really cleans up his tone at this point, and he's actually palm muting it a little bit. And uh, so the first, it, it repeats three times, and there's a little connector uh, lick that, that uh, connects the three parts. So the first part is exactly the same as what we were doing at the beginning. That part there. And then he repeats this three times. That little lick there is repeated three times. And then there's this little connector before you start, before you repeat the whole thing over again. And then you repeat. So let me slow that down. And now we've started the second go round of that lick. And then you do it again. And then you repeat that same line three times. start it for the third time and this time after that th after you repeat that lick three times you have to shift up here on the recording he's uh, he's got uh, overdubs going on where he's playing it here and he's also playing it here and uh, and when you start that ascending uh, scale run to finish the whole thing up, uh, he's, he's starting it from here, but uh, you can't play two guitar parts at the same time, especially something like this. So here's what I'm doing. Now, I'm sure one of the parts he's playing it like this. Now, you'll notice that is very similar to the ascending scale run that we did at the beginning. However, it changes a little bit at the very end. So we're going down the exact same way. Now, at the beginning of the song, we went 12, 11, 10. 
we did that, and then 12 to 11 on the D. This time we're gonna go 12, 11, 12, and then we're gonna go 9, 11, 12 of the D, 9, 11, 12 of the G, 10, 12 to finish it up on the B. Kind of like this. But all about 10 times faster than that. So uh, I'm gonna play through that entire lick slowly. And then we're into the outro solo. And that's all on the B string there. That's 14, 15, full step bend at 17. Back to the natural note at 17. And just right down the scale, dip back to 12, back to 10. Now we're going to shift down here to 4 and 2 on the G, and then hammer on back to 4, and then we're at the 5th fret, low E and A, up to 7 on the low E. And then we're, and then we're 9, 7, 5 on the D. And then 3-2 on the low E down to open A. And then we're going to slide into 7 of the uh, D. Grab the 7 of the G. Finish up on 9 of the uh, D. And that's that whole lick. And it repeats four times. So coming out of this. end of that lick, uh, I think he just hits a single note, a single B note there at the second fret. Uh, live, he goes right into a power chord, so kind of like this. And he repeats that whole phrase four times. All right, so now we're into the outro solo, and like the main solo uh, in the middle of this song, uh, he's going, he's just blistering through the scale, and uh, it's really, he's playing very, very fast, so it's really difficult, even at slow down speeds, to figure out what he's doing exactly, but I've got a good feel for what he's doing, and I've got the opening of the solo uh, pretty much exact, and then in the middle, he's just blistering through the scale, and I've got a good feel for what he's doing, and uh, so I might miss a note here and there, but uh, this is pretty much what he's doing. And uh, the solo uh, starts off like this. So we're on the sevens of the G and the, and the B, just rolling down. And then we're on the seven nine of the G. And we're gonna go seven nine eleven. And then we're into this. Hammer-ons in there. Got a good little roll up the sevens there. Finishing up on nine of the D, and then we're in this little uh, pentatonic scale run. Uh, except we're grabbing that note out of the natural minor that little scale run there, but quickly. And, uh, and then we're into this. And that 
that's all on the high E string and it's all right within that uh, F Phrygian scale. Finishing up on 10. And we're gonna slide into 17 of the high E. Back to 14, back to 17, full step bend. And now we're into the very fast outro solo. than that. Uh, so here's what we're doing. See if I can explain this. We're coming out of the big bend at 17. That's the start. And then he repeats this phrase four or five times. that little phrase right there but very quickly and uh, and then he's into this little lick which is basically repeating the same thing uh, an octave away from you know starting it here Basically that. And just moving it down one octave. Kind of like that. And then he's doing this little two note uh, ascending scale pattern, which is really tricky. Kind of like that. really need to be warmed up to nail that but and uh, it finishes up after that little uh, that little reverse and then we're into that so I'm gonna bring you up to that point slowly And then we're into uh, when we when we get to the end of that little scale run. You're gonna back that up like that, and then you're gonna roll back up here up to the uh, 17, and finish the whole phrase here on 14, and. Uh, you got to jam all this stuff in there, and this is really difficult to explain because he's just blistering through the scale. But uh, let me go slowly through the entire solo up to that point until we stop on that 14. Just like that, and that should work, but it's 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 way faster than that. Something like that. And then we're into the, uh, it slows down, a little more melodic. 
and that's just right down the scale. Except we're skipping one note right there. I'm going to move up here to the 1416s. some hammer-ons here. And this part here, you gotta get your pinky up here to uh, 18. And that's that little lick. And then you gotta jump down here for this. That is just right down the scale. Starting with a little pull off from 14 to 12 to 11 of the D. And then up to the A string on the 14, 12. And then right down the scale. Until you get to uh, 15 of the B, hit it a couple of times, and then slide it into 19. And just let that note ring. And that is the end of the solo. Uh, I'm going to play through that solo slowly one last time. Starting right from the very beginning. And I hope that was clear, but that was really difficult to uh, to explain that because uh, you know uh, you you saw me play it at full speed. It's it's really hard to uh, to pick that apart. But uh, that is Race with the Devil on a Spanish Highway by Al Di Miola, and I hope that helped you out. And uh, all I ask for is maybe give me a subscribe and a like and uh, hit that notification bell and. And uh, if you're really uh, kind, you can drop a few bucks in the uh, PayPal tip jar. And, uh, you know, you want to support my channel, I'm on Patreon. So you guys take care of yourselves, and uh, we'll see you next time. Good luck with that. And uh, get those fingers flying. Take care of yourselves. Ciao.